Recording in progress. Okay, so when I run the demo, um, what are I you have demonstrating? To what are you demonstrating? Pardon me. What are you demonstrating? Good point. So I'm going to demonstrate connection reuse with did peer two and did peer four. Okay. Um, so is based on the ACPI argument emit did peer two or did peer did peer four. And then I'm running the demo with uh, did exchange and reuse connections. And did exchange, I think, is a default, but I always specify it because I can never remember. And then I have to overwrite the port on favor just because um, my Mac likes globbing up ports. So every once in a while, I find that it's globbed up another one. And then on uh, Alice, I've been mainly testing did peer two to did peer two and did peer four to did peer four. Um, I've got a unit or an integration test that tests like one with did peer two and one with did peer four, blah, blah, blah. And then I run Alice with reuse connections as well. So um, there's options on the Akapai endpoints, whether you want to reuse the connections or not. So then I've, I've linked those both into the the command line. So you, if you want connection reuse in the Alice favor demo, you have to specify it on the, yeah. on the command line. You have to specify the connection reuse. And here's where, because I was just running a demo on a different branch, it'll just take a minute to build the image before it starts up. Now, just a matter of interest while we're talking here, you've talked about what you've got to do in the demo. Um, is there, what do you do? What is the demo doing? What is Akapai? You know, if you're just using a, a controller on Akapai other than the demo, what do you have to set? Just the did emit did peer? Is there any other parameters that have to be set? To uh, yeah. connections? That is an excellent question. Um, so this is Faber. Yeah. Uh, so when Faber generates an invitation, and I'm doing this because I don't remember off the top of my head, but it is, it is all, Right. So uh, when we're using did exchange, get invite, um, there's a parameter. So this is a new parameter that we talked about create, create, create unique did. So on when you're creating an invitation, if you specify create unique did, it'll create a unique did. Otherwise, it will look up in the wallet to see if there's a did that is flagged as the one to use for invitations. Yeah. I'll show you, I'll show you that when I run the demo. Or you can specify use public did. So this is on the inviter side, this is the the parameter that you can specify. So by default, it'll try and use the same did for each invitation. But if you want yep. unique dids, then you do create unique dids. On the receive invite, um, there's a parameter called use existing invitations. So this was if this was existing, I didn't, um, uh, I didn't update this parameter at all. So this, okay. this is an existing parameter on the, on the, on the invitation receive. So here's my invite. You can see this is the did peer four. So you can see how gigantic the QR code is. Okay. So I think like you were saying, um, you'd want to do like use this with a redirect for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I paste the invitation and it now I've got the invitation. So if I look up the uh, endpoint, so this is Faber. So Faber has a connection, should be one with the short did peer four. My did and their did, we're both did peer fours. And then if I look up the dids in the wallet, this is one of the things that 
plasma water issues. We've got three dids in the wallet. So there's the public dead. So this mm -hmm. one, the one that says posted is the public dead. And then this is the did peer four. So there's a did peer four, short form, uh, one, and a did peer four, long form. You're not catching up. Hang on one sec. The screen's still flowing. Okay. Okay. So short form, long form, plus the public. So so for every connection, you wind up with two connection records? With every did peer four, you wind up with two did records. In the oh, two did records. Okay. Yeah, and they both got the same ver key because it's the yep. same did, yep. right? Yep. But yep. If there's there's a method to look up a did by ver key, which you never know which one it's going to get you, right? So I I had to go through and figure out. I was about to say, know, does it return one? Or, does it return one or two? It returns one. So I updated the method to check if it's a did peer four yep. to return the short one. Okay, good. Good. And then this is the metadata for the connection reuse. Yeah. Uh, so that's so. Uh, yeah. So it just says connection reuse for. So if I issue another invitation. Oh, then, excellent. Okay, good. Uh, yep. So this is Alice requesting, yep. waiting for another invite. And in favor. It's a new invitation, but it's with the same div. Yeah. Got it. So then if I connect, then uh, somewhere in the events, you can see it's reuse, handle reuse, goes into the reuse protocol. Reuse message. Yeah. Do you see that? And then if I go back to yep. uh, my favor, yeah. it's got the same did. So if I look at the connection, uh still should hopefully just have one connection and if i open alice look at alice's connections alice will just have one so one this is the alice side of the connection And then same because this did peer four, so Alice will also yep. have two dids. Excellent. Did records. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So then, if I want, if I want to run, uh, well, let me just I'll restart uh, favor with did peer two. And it should start up a little bit quicker. So, so Alice, um, I'm leaving Alice running. So this should be a, a second connection for Alice now. Yep. Is that restarted favor? Or it'll, it's a new favor. So favor is now did peer two. Mm -hmm. uh, two. So when I go and connect it, if I go to uh, so this is Alice. Alice now has two connections, one with the old favor and one with the, so this is the old one. They both did peer four, and then this is the new one. It's now got a favor is did peer two, and Alice is still did peer. And, and you didn't peer, mess with did peer three at all, right? No, I just 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 two and four. Good. And then if I do the another invitation again, uh, connection reuse. So Faber's still got just the one connection. Alice has the two. Excellent. 
We'll uh, throw caution to the winds and issue a credential and then request a proof. Everything works in that connection. So some of the uh, so other than the fact that there's the two um, wallet records. And, and you have to have the two wallet records because, or, or you don't even have the, the short form, but you have to have, you don't want the short have, form. You have to keep the long form one. Because I mean, you don't, you don't really, yeah, I, I mean, you have to keep the long form one because if you want to use, if you want to create another invitation, you have to have yeah. the yes. same did, which is the long form did. Yep, exactly. And I think you have to have the short one as well, because I don't know if you could, if you, if you get back a message with the short one, then I don't know if you could use the short form to look up the long form. Yeah. Or maybe you could put it in the metadata or something. So I don't know. Maybe you could, it would be like more, more kludgy stuff. Exactly. Right? So it's kludgy. Uh, yeah. It's kludgy because it's of the div tier four. So there, and there's two different ways where, uh, the, it was looking up the did peer four and I tried to I tried to look it up the same way, but it wasn't working uh, mm -hmm. like well, I, I would get something working and then it would mess up something else so. So this is one of the things i'm going to take another look at so in this case find did for key. Uh, I just I get the did or I look it up in the wallet find record if it starts with did peer four, then I just convert it from. Long to short. Got it. So I get the short did. So that's number. That's one way, and then the other way. There's a piece of code in. Uh, I think it was in here. Uh, yeah. So this is the. Uh, sorry. Get local did for Verity. So this mm -hmm. is where we're looking up, and we've got two records. So it was just pulling out one record. So yep. just grab whatever randomly the first record was. So I do a fetch all, mm -hmm. and then if there's an array, if there's more than one, and it's a did peer four, yep. then I I pick out the short form got of it. the two records. Perfect. So that's, there's two different ways it is doing essentially the same thing. And um, this one is using the wallet query, and then the other one is using a storage query. So I just fix them each individually. <laughs> and so, so that's one of the things I want to look at today is, or, you know, when I get back to this, this pull request is to just see if you know, there's some way to handle this peer, did peer four consistently. The other thing that I've got, like you can see, I've got hard coding for did peer four, yeah. and yeah. I've got other hard coding for did peer. And so, one of the things you wanted was it to work in general for any kind of did. I'm so, I, I I don't think that's crucial. And and as I say, um, well, if you use a public did. You're using a public did that covers every other case, right? You public, public did public did works as well. Yeah. So those are the three cases that work: did peer yeah. two, did peer four, public did. If yeah. it's a did key, it doesn't try and reuse the did. So can't. with a did key, you you can't reuse a connection. Did key you can't it has no endpoint by definition. A, a did key cannot have an endpoint, therefore it cannot be used used for a didcom connection. So did key is fine. And yeah, those, are, issue that so those are the three. Case. Those are the three scenarios that work. Okay. Yeah. So those are the three scenarios that work with the reuse: is peer two, peer four, and public did. And public did. That's fine. That's perfect. And it's. I don't think it's a problem that there's special case handling for did peers. Um, that's fine. Anyway, I could, I could, I could put in an issue just to say, like, if if we're adding support for like did web, I, I've noticed there's a lot of chatter about did web next. Yeah. If we're going to be adding another did, then 
whoever adds the did is probably going to want to take a look at how the connection reuse is handled because I don't know I if think that's a public it. did. I think that's going to be yeah. a it'll just be a public did and therefore okay. 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 